skipping now will it look fancy will i be able to have it in the back pocket and increase my reputation with my friends and my peers and these are all the things that apple managed to corner the market in. because let's be fair nobody wants uh, a, a microsoft windows logo sticking out of the back pocket as much as uh, as an apple logo i think uh, <laughs> unless unless of course somebody listening wants to challenge that and would rather have them and i'd love to hear from you but uh, i think the general consensus would be that apple was friendly uh, and rightly or wrongly, that's what sold it to the, to the ministry. So, very sad news that Mr. Jobs has passed away. And uh, hopefully, Mr. Storman will come back and actually clarify for the people that are having so much difficulty in terms of what he actually said and what he actually meant. Um, and if we haven't got any objections, we'll move on to the next topic, um, which is Android and Intellectual Ventures lawsuit, which I believe Roy's going to be taking the lead on. Yeah, so <coughs> I, I just thought we should mention that it relates to the uh, first. Uh, uh, point we had released. That now, as people probably know, we have a uh, very, very small list about ten lines just saying, you know, we might as well go through this and then that, so we can kind of give an overview at the beginning of the show. So, I, I just since we since we've mentioned the fact that Apple is going to be headed by a uh, person who appears to be very keen on using uh, patents against the competitors, uh, as you know, Motorola has been sued by Microsoft, they've been sued by Apple, and, uh, and Motorola, Motorola's this mobile division is being kind of acquired by Google, so Motorola really becomes... Well, the, uh, our Justice Department, for some reason, is ignoring the Microsoft green mail and the patent abuse, but they seem to think maybe Google shouldn't be allowed to buy Motorola. Well, yeah, well, that, that, that's a separate story. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's moving on. <laughs> yeah, well, the Department of Justice has been very... Uh, hostile towards Google recently, and I, but I think that's a whole different story, because I can tell you about who's in the Department of Justice uh, as of recent years, and, uh, and yeah. what, yeah, because you know it's a bit more, it's a very political issue as well, so it, it's not just really purely a uh, uh, investigative, uh, and they usually need to find somebody to go after it based on the what the public perceives to be, the, the company that needs to be... Uh, yeah, and we are, in, we are in an election cycle right now, so it's, yeah, I'm sure it's entirely politically motivated, but yeah. Yeah, so anyway, the uh, situation for Motorola was recently pursued by the world's biggest patent troll, who's also the former CTO, the chief technical, uh, the, the chief technical officer of Mexico Corporation until about, I don't know, 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. When he became a patent troll with the support, financial support from good, good friends uh, at Microsoft and especially Bill Gates, who uh, seems to be one of his best friends, um, they created. Uh, I think they've got about thirty-five thousand patents now. <laughs> they don't have a single product now, so you couldn't sue them back if they decide to sue you. Uh, typically, they don't want to be seen as suing companies. So what they'll do is they take one of their patents or several of their patents, they pass it to one of the uh, allegedly, uh, 1,300 plus uh, satellites that they have, very small companies, just like, you know, lawyers would, would not be somewhere, and they pass it to them to sue the company that doesn't pay so-called protection money to the intellectual venture, you know, pyramid scheme. Uh, so that's just an extortion racket, that's just a fee on everything people buy. It's a patent troll that's basically created by, with the support, with the pat back and go. Of Microsoft Corporation, which of course will never be sued by them because it's kind of well, like and it's, it's one of the reasons I have made a decision. I'm not buying any Android devices unless they're made by Motorola, because they're yes. at this time the only ones that aren't paying the green mail. That, that that's what I said about a year and a half ago, before they had a boot kind of uh, I think July 2010. There was a bit of controversy about the. Phones not being uh, possible to jailbreak, but I think they fixed that after a while. Uh, Motorola is not the only one who's in this situation. I mean, I, I don't think you like Sony too much. We, we, I know loads of people really, really hate Sony after all the things they did uh, to Linux and uh, to free software in general and to copyright industry and so on. But uh, the Sony is one of those companies that say we've got so many patents, Microsoft cannot really sue us. Uh, so that's all Sony Ericsson would be. Well, and, 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 and I would like to see who's stupid enough to go after Motorola, considering some of the patents Motorola has in the cell phone arena. You know, yeah, well, that, well, now they send a troll. So, so I was just about to mention uh, Intellectual Ventures. Very funny name, considering it's not really intellectual. It doesn't actually, it's just basically a venture in trolling. Uh, is going after Motorola. 
because it's easier for Microsoft to try and attack Android or to attack Motorola and Google from the side, kind of through a troll, uh, trying to raise the price of Android. Uh, and by the way, this isn't the first time they do that, but previously they used companies like Load Seas and all kinds of uh, satellites, essentially companies that were receiving patents from Miravolt, from Nathan Miravolt, the intellectual ventures, to attack very specific developers, for example, iOS developers and Android developers. But and mysteriously enough, Microsoft has never been sued by any of those patents. You'd, ex you'd expect that. So Well, and, and this is one of the reasons I really think if Google's purchase of Motorola goes through, it's a win-win for the industry because then Google can license every one of those Motorola patents as part of the Android license. So that's a that's a patent troll shield right there for the Android platform as a whole. How, how is it how is it defending against trolls though? I mean, I had conversations with like officers in Google about it, and they're I, I just told them, you know, this is not going to be helpful because my will just pass around the patents to trolls and they will attack you, and they still have to pay pat they basically still have to pay to the trolls. Uh, so so I'm not sure how how they are going to defend against that. Did you know about the um, there is a Canadian company called uh, uh, Mossaid or Mossaid. I'm not sure it's, if it's an acronym or just a funny name, but Microsoft used uh, this company to uh, pass Nokia's patents to through, I think, through Luxembourg to some really, really strange, mysterious process uh, with the intention of the company already open. It says we're going to like litigate against or extort, license uh, those patents, probably to Android devices because of course Nokia is going to deal with Apple now and Microsoft is working with Nokia so the only vocation for these patents probably would be to uh, to attack the Android industry from Canada from the patent troll uh, and this is one of those situations and, and and this is already under investigation I think Google has already complained about it say so, look this is Microsoft and Apple trying to sue us using a patent troll and using Nokia as well and this is why I want actual patent reform so it's like if you really think and basically you can't do what you, I, this is this to me would be actual patent reform it's going to take decades to happen unfortunately but actual patent reform would be getting rid of what you're talking about basically yeah. if Microsoft wants to sue Google Microsoft go sue Google yeah, well, oh, did you read about Oracle? No, actually, this is in the news today or yesterday. Oracle is now trying to drag into the case, you know, the Oracle uh, Java Dalvik case. It's trying to drag into the case LG, Motorola, uh, HTC, and I think one more company. I don't think Samsung's in there. They try to drag the drag and harass all those companies that basically are partners of Google. And deter them, basically cause them some legal trouble and raise their uh, legal bill, so they will like I don't know move to something else or be pressured to pay up to uh, the Oracle. Well, and, well, and it's like what Microsoft did with Samsung. Basically, they said we have patents. You infringe on them. You can't see them, but sign this piece of paper. Give us money. Agree to sell Windows devices and give us money for every one of your Android devices. And Samsung said, no, that agreement's cheaper than going through the legal hoopla, so well, all right. More, <laughs> I, I've, I've, written, I've kind of called for a boycott against Samsung since 2007. Uh, so this is not the first time Samsung signs a patent deal that involves Linux, or in this case, I was told by the Open Invention Network, it wasn't really for Linux, it was for the file location tables in, uh, in the operating system uh, uh, for the Fed32 operating th 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 that That's what has been leaked. We don't know the particulars because That's Samsung wasn't told the particulars until after they signed the agreement. And once they signed the agreement, they had signed a do not disclose. So we're getting an unofficial leak, which we can't verify because it's under non-disclosure. Oh, what's this? Where did you find this? I'm actually quite interested if you know anything about it. Because I spoke to the guy who's like behind the whole Linux patent situation. He told me with confidence this was for... Uh, location tables. The dealing. To I, I I'll trust your source. The 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 the, the w ones we're hearing is basically there. It's behind a cloak shield right now. So if that was somebody in the sun, I'll I'll believe that. And I also but, heard that the uh, Android ones have nothing to do with the Linux kernel. Uh, it's to do with Active Sync. It's to do with patterns that are very specific to the GUI or the uh, certain things that you could probably remove from Android quite easily. 
you don't have to change the Linux component of it. Um, so I, I think I, Microsoft likes to use the word Linux and Android in an umbrella type way. And obviously, it all